Hello, we will solve the sixth lab of the JSON Web Token Attacks topic of the Web Security Academy. The name of the lab is JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via Kit Header Pass Traversal. You see, I use the built in browser of Verb and I also use the Verb extension JVT Editor. Okay, the first part of this lab is to create a suitable signing key. For that, log in with the user Wiener and the password Peter. Log in and you see in the HTTP history tab there are some requests are highlighted. That means that these requests contain JSON web token. We need the request to the endpoint my account send this request to burp repeater switch to burp repeater and change the request line from my account to admin and send the request you see in the response section we received an http 401 unauthorized that means we can't access the admin panel as the user wiener okay in the request section you see there's a cookie header with a session parameter and this parameter contains our JSON web token. The JSON web token or a JSON web token consists of three parts. The first part is the header. Double click it and you see it is decoded in the inspector section. The second part is the payload. Double click and it is decoded in the inspector section. And the last part is a signature, but this one is not important for us in this lab okay now create a new symmetric key for that click the json web token editor keys and here click the button new symmetric key click generated and leave the key site as it is and now you have to change the value of the k parameter but you can't write to it you see here so copy the value that you want to insert in the k parameter we need the base code a base 64 encoded null byte and this looks so a a equal equal copy and here insert is insert and here you see it's inserted as a value of the k parameter and click ok ok now the next part is modify and sign the JVT as a JSON web token. For that, go to the verb repeater tab. And here you see there are two tabs, the JSON web token and JSON web tokens. Open the JSON web token and go to the header section. Wait, I will resize it. Okay. And here change the value of the kit parameter to the dev null file. What is dev null? The dev null file is a null device file in Linux that discard anything written to it and will return end of file on reading. Okay, minimize and now go to the payload section. You see the parameter of sub is wiener and we need administrator administrator the next step is sign the jvt as a json web token click the sign button and shows the new created symmetric key leave everything as as it is click ok and the json web token is signed okay send the request and you see we still received an http 401 unauthorized we extend the value of the kit parameter point point slash point point slash point point sign the json web token again and send this request and you see we received an http 200 okay that means we can access the admin panel as the user administrator scroll down in the request section and you see here 
admin panel. Okay, now we need to delete the user Carlos. For that we look for the path that deletes the user. Here is the path. Copy this one, copy and in the request section switch to the raw view and replace the request line. Admin, delete, question mark, username, equal Carlos. Okay, send the request. And you see in the response section, we received an HTTP 300 to found, 300 to found. Click the follow redirection button. And yes, of course you see in the browser, we solved the lab. And in the response section, there are two messages. The first one, of course, congratulations, you solved the lab. And the second one is the message user deleted successfully.